Tower, good afternoon. Uh, Piper Aztec, November 1, 5 Yankee Papa, ready taxi VFR to Isla Grande. Uh, November 1, 5 Yankee Papa, enter backtrack on your seven via taxi via Delta. And from destination, souls and fuel. Enter backtrack seven via Delta, and uh, destination is Isla Grande VFR. We're one soul aboard and uh, three hours on the fuel, Yankee Papa. Yankee Papa, Raj. One five Yankee Papa, uh, altimeter is three zero zero four. Three double four Yankee Papa. Uh, confirm your final altitude climbing to. Uh, we're going to climb up to six thousand five hundred to the Yankee Papa. Yankee Papa, Roger. Clear left, clear right. Happy final power. Good afternoon, C one four five one five. Requesting permission for engine start up pilot discretion. Formation kilo. Number 15 Yankee Papa on the turn 07, you're clear for takeoff, wind 120 degrees, you're 6 knots. The turn clear for takeoff, runway 7 Yankee Papa. Two pumps are on. Number 2614 Lima Beef. Uh, Flaps on test, flaps coming up. Hold short 07, wind 120 degrees, you're 6 knots, ultimate 3, 004. Number 1 for Lima, confirm we're heading to San Juan or Isla Grande. It's closed, lights are on, fuel pumps are on, everything is good. Make sure it's full reach, props are forward. Alright, let's go. Head in checks. Speed to live. Rotate. Accelerate to VYSE. Blue line. Keep climbing. 2614 Lima, enter backtrack. Runway 07 by Charlie. Remember, we're minimal head. Gears coming up. There's 400 feet. Power's coming down. There's a thousand feet, left turn. Number one five Yankee Papa, you departed at time three niner, report passing two thousand five hundred feet. Call you two thousand five hundred Yankee Papa. Two thousand five hundred Yankee Papa. Yankee Papa Roger, contact someone one two eight as one six five. Number one five, a Yankee Papa, San Juan. Number one five, Yankee Papa, Beef Island, Twist La Grande, VFR, climbing six thousand five hundred. Five Yankee Papa, Rogers, stand by for squad. Number five, Yankee Papa, squad four seven five one. Four seven five one, Yankee Papa. Yankee Papa, ready to contact, 8 miles west of uh, B Island Airport, say altitude. Coming through uh, 4,700, climbing 6,500, Yankee Papa. Uh, Yankee Papa, right there, resume on navigation. On navigation, Yankee Papa. Alright guys, welcome aboard. We're flying today the uh, Piper Aztec. We're currently level at 6,500 and we're flying from B Island, Tortola in the British Virgin Islands all the way back to Isla Grande Airport in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is my first vlog in a multi-engine aircraft, so that's exciting. Um, weather today is crazy. There's clear skies, uh, probably some scattered layers at 4,000. 
but for the most part clear skies. However, it's super hazy today. Visibility is about 15 miles at most. Do you know why it is so hazy in the Caribbean? Have you ever heard about the term the Saharan dust? So basically, the uh, the sand, the dust that comes from the Saharan desert travels all around the Atlantic Ocean westbound because of some winds called the trade winds. Huh. That's ironic. However, they, they get here into the Caribbean, they settle here. Tree one. Um, creating a, a layer of haze below 10, 12,000 feet and um, getting every single plane dirty like you'll see on the leading edges once we land um, if I remember to record that obviously you'll see it's brown so this is a Piper Aztec aircraft it's a pretty fun plane to fly, we have two engines on it so that means that we have added safety, added redundancy um, we're obviously faster than most single-engine piston aircraft, unless you, you want to compare me with like a Cirrus or a, or a Columbia or now the Corvallis. Those are fast planes for all I care. Um, however, we have the safety, we have the redundancy. This plane is built tough. This plane can take serious beating. You can do the worst landing ever on this plane and it's not going to break on you. So. It's a great aircraft for people looking into uh, getting their multi in rating uh, because it's just so easy to fly. You can see I'm, I'm hands free right now. The plane's flying just now, uh, just fine, holding altitude. And uh, we're doing about 150 knots indicated. Actually, 130 knots indicated. That's about what the tailwind currently is about 170 knots on the ground speed. We're, uh, we're currently passing Culebra right now, and uh, we're estimating Isla Grande in about 15 minutes, and that's about 20, 45 miles from here. November, 15 Yankee Papa, contact send one approach, 120.9er. 120.9er, Yankee Papa, talk to you later, see ya. See ya. Let's pick up the areas of this then, shall we? Iberia 6510, visibility, sky condition 2500 scattered, temperature 29er, dew point 24, altimeter 3004, landing and departing on way 9er, expect visual on have approach from way 9er, bring back all hold short instructions, advise initial contact, you have information, Lima. Ace out on tower, information. Lima, time 2153 Zulu, field VFR, wind 100 at 10, zero. visibility 10 zero miles, sky condition 2500 scattered, temperature 29 er dew point 24, altimeter 3004, landing and departing on way 9er, expect visual on have approach from way 9er, read back all hold short instructions, advise initial contact, you have information, Lima. So we're talking to a push right now, or actually I'm going to contact them right now. We have to include uh, the uh, areas that we listen to at this Grande. And I guess we can start descending now. I was offline calling approach to again. That was uh, Piper, November 15, Yankee Papa with Lima descending out of 6,500. November 15, Yankee Papa, San Juan approach, find the Tango transition and bind it with Lima. We have Lima and uh, we'll find the Tango, Yankee Papa. I told him we had Lima. Number one, Julia Victor, turn left. You guys are witness. I told him on my initial call I had Lima. I need a three. The only thing that I don't like about this plane, and honestly, it's not even a big deal, is this weird trim wheel up here. Instead of having a trim wheel up down here like Cessna Zoo or like modern aircraft do with a head switch, this one has literally a trim wheel here, and. Uh, Sometimes you get confused whether you should go clockwise or counterclockwise to uh, to get the point to trim down or up, and uh, you, you find yourself doing constant adjustments to the trim. I got my multi a couple of months ago at this uh, amazing place. It's not even a fly school. Um, it's a MEI multi instructor uh, that lives at an air park in Florida, and he has his own. Piper Apache looks pretty similar to this one, probably a little bit older. Um, and uh, 
charge is pretty good for uh, flight time and he will get you ready in two or three days uh, for the check ride and uh, check ride was a blast I really enjoyed it so if you guys do you guys have your multi engine if you don't and you're interested in getting yours let me know on the comments below and I'll hook you up with this guy and uh, oh and also the cool thing is that the air park where he lives has a grass runway, so you're always going in and out of a grass runway. That's that's pretty cool. I've never done that before until I started doing my uh, multi training, and that was amazing. So if you guys want to get your multi, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll uh, I'll put you guys in contact so you can uh, get your multi done. It's pretty easy. It's pretty fun. So far, it's been the most enjoyable rating to get that I've had and uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy it. Now we're going to get down. Really 5,500, descending for 2,000 feet. As you all know, or as you all have an idea, the FAA is requiring every aircraft, or almost every aircraft that flies in U.S. airspace, to be equipped with ADS-B by the um, by January next year, 2020. A lot of people have been doing those implementations into their cockpits already, and their ADS-B ADS ready, and they have traffic on their, on their GPS displays. And I've, I've seen this trend a lot where air traffic controller will issue you a traffic warning. For example, traffic, 3 o'clock, 6 miles, uh, whatever. And the pilot will say, looking for the traffic, we have him on TCAS. But I have some friends on, on ATC, and they always tell me that they don't like this because they cannot issue you uh, separation clearance via TCAS or ADSB or whatever it is. It's still not as reliable. Contact San Juan Tower 132.05. 3205, Yankee Papa, see ya. In San Juan Tower, we're Aztec number 15, Yankee Papa, descending out of 4000 on Tango Transition. Southwest 1890, November 15, Yankee Papa, San Juan Tower, good afternoon, San Juan Tower, 3002, flight Tango. 3002, flying the Tango, uh, Yankee Papa. All right, so keeping on with the topic about TCAS and ADS-B traffic, ATC cannot issue a separation minimum via TCAS or ADS-B as far as my knowledge goes. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure in the U.S., Puerto Rico, and every other U.S. you know territory where the FAA is the air traffic controller controlling agency, uh, you're not allowed to issue that as far as I know. It will be interesting to know if that's actually true or not, but I'm pretty sure it's done. So, please guys, whenever they give you a traffic warning, don't say we have him on TCAS. Um, they, they don't care, honestly. And uh, I know some air traffic controllers actually freak out if you try to maintain uh, ADS-V or TCAS separation. If you don't have traffic on visual, you know, they have to maintain their own uh, visual standards, which I believe is three miles and a thousand feet. So, uh, that's about it for TCAS. Um, leave your opinions below. I'm, I'm interested to, uh, to hearing. Uh, do you have any funny story about it? Um, uh, whenever you fly not radar, you tell them, I have it on TCAS, and they're like, literally, they will tell you, I need you to have visual contact with the traffic in order to give you another descent clearance or climb clearance or... Uh, any clearance, you know. November 1-5, Yankee Papa, flight direct San Juan Tower. Direct to Tower, Yankee Papa, thanks. Alright, we're pretty much overhead the San Juan Airport now. And Yankee Papa is overhead. November 1-5, Yankee Papa, Roger. Do you want me to switch? Number one five Yankee Papa, squad B is fire contact United Tower. Good. Yeah, fire over to Grand Tower. Good. Uh, five Yankee Papa. Easily 
Panama Tower, good afternoon, November 15, Yankee Papa, is Punta Las Marias inbound with uh, Lima. Number 15, Yankee Papa, is behind the tower and her left downward runway 9, report of Incondado Plaza. Left downward 9, call you Incondado Plaza, Yankee Papa. Make sure sir, coming full. Number one five Yankee Papa, number three following traffic, uh, turning base to final about uh, being the water tank. Extend your down to follow, report traffic inside. All right, we'll send it down one for number three, call to you with traffic inside, Yankee Papa. The twin Cessna. Copy. Or four four one. Traffic inside, Yankee Papa. Roger, number one five Yankee Papa, number three following the twin Cessna and uh, runway niner. You're clear to land. Number three following the twin Cessna, Roman Air clear to land, one five Yankee Papa. And just confirm the twin Cessna is uh, midfield on the bay. Negative. I'll have the traffic sign now, Yankee Papa will follow. Uh, one for, uh, one for him, I've got the track. We need to do some extra here. Roger, uh, I'm going to get him out of the way for you. Right. For one seven, Papa Sierra, just uh, climb and go around. You're just way too slow there for the other traffic behind you. Sorry, Dad, going around for one seven, Sierra. All right, he's going around. I had to go around last time, remember, on the Bonanza? Now he's going around, so. <laughs> Parma. <laughs> number one to the runway, runway nine or clear land. All right, fuel pumps are coming on. Bikes are on. Make sure it's full forward. I see the twin Cessna on short final. All right. Four mile final, gears coming down, or speed checks. 417, Papa Sierra, you can turn your left crossing at your discretion. Gears on three green, and I have a little mirror right here on the engine that I can see. If the nose gear is down and it's down. We're not going to use flaps for this landing. Pictures are coming. Rich and props are coming forward. All San Juan is over here to the left. 500 feet, gears down, three green. Props are up, mixtures forward, props forward, field pumps are on, lights are on, we're good to go. Number 417, Papa Sierra, number 2, following the traffic, it's on short final, runway 9 or Windsor, 9012, clear for the option. Being at about blue line, which is VYSE. Tower 6 Bravo Charlie, ready for departure, at Bravo 1. Number 106 Bravo Charlie, lay down the tire, number 2 for departure, hold short, also waiting IFR release. Number 2, holding short. Six. And the runway's made, bringing the power back. There we go. Nice and easy on the center line. Number uh, one five Yankee Papa, taxi via Bravo four and Bravo two. The ramp remain this frequency at eight. Bravo 4, Bravo to the ramp, and we're going to cross some Shanka, Papa. Roger, number 2, Papa, here without delay traffic on base, runway 9, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff without delay, 1 and 8, Papa, sir. Alright, guys, uh, that's good? Okay. Alright, guys, we made it in, and, uh, Pretty good landing, pretty good flight, pretty smooth. I hope you guys learned something new today. Uh, I just have to give this plane like two more minutes in order to cool down the turbos. And uh, we should be uh, good to go. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That will really help me get uh, more people to uh, to see what I do in aviation. I like to share aviation with all of you guys. So hit that uh, thumbs up button and uh, subscribe so you can see uh, everything uh, as soon as I post it, all right? All right, guys, I'm gonna shut down the avionics and uh, wait for the engines to cool down, and uh, I'll see you next time then. Enjoy.
Oh, and also, guys, I forgot to tell you, now we have to clear customs and immigration because we're coming from a foreign destination. I gotta do a video showing you all the paperwork involved in this. It's not very much. It's a little overwhelming when you're doing it at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And that will really let you fly uh, somewhere else aside from, you know, local flying in the U.S. Or if you live outside the U.S. and you want to fly to the U.S., that will also help you to know which paperwork you need in order to do that. All right, that's two minutes, so here we go. Thank you. 